Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Objects 2 within Part 2 of Module 1. And you may notice that the uh, code here, which in the previous videos is usually unformatted, um, actually had to go in and adjust these beforehand because there was an error right around here. Um, used to say it needs to return a full name property on the input object, but as you can see from this part of the example code, we don't need to return anything. We're only going to be setting a value inside of the input object. So you'll actually recall a problem previously, well I should say you might recall a problem previously, where we uh, created a full name based on a first and last name. So real quick, that was essentially first name plus an empty space plus last name. That was the code that we wrote to add a first name to a last name with a space in between that. So we're going to take distinct advantage of that um, to build our current, um, what would you call this, functionality? And this can be a common pattern with a lot of these problems. You'll keep doing the similar format of problems, but we change small details to make them a little bit more complicated each time, so that by the end of it, you can approach a problem maybe where it's like an array of complicated objects, and you won't really need to worry about how to do anything, because you'll have done all the small little pieces. Building blocks, building blocks mastery, there you go, something like that. So, let's identify the first name and declare it as a variable. So we have our object is the name of the parameter, so we'll say object dot first name. Later on in module two you'll do a problem just like this but instead of uh, we won't be able to assume that the object has a last name and a first name property. For this one because it says given an object that has a first name property and a last name property we can ignore the edge case where this object is not uh, inputted properly meaning that if the person or if the object that's inputted doesn't have a first name or a last name property we are not concerning ourselves with that at the moment. So we're also going to create something called full name and let's call this full name value just to make it a little bit easier to, to parse in a moment and we're going to set that to first name actually we wrote it right here well we I but hopefully you're following along so first name plus a space plus last name that's going to be the full name and now we need to take the input object object we want to declare or create a, a full name property so we'll say object dot full name to be sure, we could absolutely say object at full name. And thats I don't know if that's industry standard or if that's just something I started doing, but object dot full name versus object at full name can be a nice way to sort of keep those um, distinct. So on line eight, object at full name is equal to our full name value that we just created. And we built that, as you saw, off of the values for first name and value for last name. So object at full name is equal to full name value. That should be it because that's now assigned a value to our object. So if we run our tests, we're in good shape. Adding an object property. Given two objects and a key, add object property sets a new property on the first object at the given key. So right there, that's pretty much the first object, object one, at the given key. So that's how we access that, and we know to assign a value to that, we just need to use the equal sign, and then whatever we want the value to be, we input it right there. In this case, the value of that new property is the entire second object. Pretty simple. So we'll just grab object 2, and now we've done it. And you see this line again? There's no return value. We're just setting a new property on the input object. So now that we've done that, we'll run the tests, and we're still good. Okay, is person old enough to drink and drive? You may recall this as a version of a problem we did previously, is, a, is old enough to drink and drive. This one is going to deal with an object, but similarly to the previous drink and drive one, no one is ever allowed to drink and drive. So, is the person old enough? No, they are not. Excellent work. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.